Welcome to Linus Tech Tips. Today we're going to be unboxing a brand new Sony tablet. This is a 9.4 inch tablet PC. It features Android Honeycomb and it comes in an attractive brown box that we're going to go ahead and break the seal on because that is what we do on this channel. We unbox things and then we take a first look at them. So here is my first look. Oh, PlayStation certified. Fascinating. Okay, so the Sony tablet. This is the S tablet device. Sony, got the right there. Little slogan here, make believe. Got a picture of the tablet itself, which looks pretty slick, although I would expect that from a Sony product. PlayStation certified, we already talked about. On the side, we see not a whole lot. On the other side, we see not much. Here we see some general specs. So 9.4 inch tablet, 16 gig SSD. It has an SD slot, an IR blaster. Now that's cool. Uh, dual webcams, Tegra 2, Bluetooth, Honeycomb, and it is a tablet. All right, so not a whole lot to say for itself on the outside of the box, although the IR Blaster is a very cool feature because what that means is you can use it as a remote. Very neat. Okay, quick start guide. Getting started here. I'm just going to turn this around so everyone can see what we're doing here. Um, support website. Okay, what's it want you to do? In the box, okay, well, we'll see what's in the box anyway. How to charge the battery, okay, and then turning on your device, press the power button for three seconds. Well, that is a quick start guide because that's uh, not going to take very long. Here's the tablet itself. That is a strange shape. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Hold on, guys. Okay, that is another quick start guide. Press the button, unlock the thing, log into Google. Okay. You'd think they would have just put that on the quick start guide, but I guess not. Important information, uh, FCC regulations and safety and whatnot, okay? End user license agree- really? Oh, for certain software for your Sony tablet device, okay? And then limited warranty statement. So how long is our warranty? This is a... probably a one-year warranty based on that. Tablets are generally one-year warranty, but I'd hate to be wrong, although I am wrong sometimes. Okay, give me a minute here, guys. Go ahead and... Found it, guys. It's a one-year limited warranty, and it can be transferred to a subsequent owner. So that's kind of cool. So that's kind of like XFX's uh, dual, dual lifetime warranty, except it's not lifetime. It's one year. But uh, you can actually sell your tablet, give them your receipt, and then they will have warranty coverage from Sony if you decide to upgrade your tablet to something else uh, down the road. So that's kind of neat. All right, we've got a power cord, got a power brick. Power brick, I'm just going to show you guys the old iPhone size comparison so you can get some idea of how big it is. All right, so there's that. And then there it is uh, next to the iPhone itself. So you can kind of see how big it is. Not too heavy. Um, I mean, there's something to be said for this longer cord style. I mean, the uh, Samsung Galaxy as well as the ASUS Transformer, which I have here just for size comparison, both come with little proprietary USB cables that go into like uh, custom dock connectors. And there is something to be said for a longer cable like this because it means that you can put this next to your nightstand, bring the cable up onto the nightstand and charge it every night uh, conveniently rather than relying on it to uh, rather than relying on a USB extension cable to get the cord to be long enough. So here is the tablet itself, and the very first thing I noticed about it was this. Look at that. It is not, it, it, it is on a slant. So I guess the way Sony intends for you to use it is sort of mostly one way, although it's not uncomfortable to hold in portrait orientation either. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, let's find the power button and hold it for probably three seconds based on the quick start guides indication. Okay, there it is, it's turning on right now. What else do we have for buttons here? We've got a volume up, volume down. Look at that, a hardware reset switch. That is worth its weight in gold because things happen from time to time and I'm not saying anything particularly about Sony's tablets, but once in a while I have had Android tablets lock up and fortunately on the one that locked up on me a couple times I was uh, able to remove the battery in order to hard reset it, but it, if I had one that didn't have a hard reset switch and I couldn't remove the battery, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, I would have had to wait for the battery to die in standby mode in order to turn the tablet back on, so that, that would have been bad. Uh, this is, looks like a speaker grill of some sort. 
Okay, so let's uh, turn around this way. So here we find kind of a rounded, textured. You can see there's little uh, rubber, no, I think they're plastic, little plastic bumps on it. So that gives it a very nice feel actually, and you would be very unlikely to drop this tablet while holding on to that part of it. Here we've got a headphone jack, which is recessed back here, so you're not gonna have any undue strain on your, on your cord. We've also got da, 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 an SD card slot, as well as, I don't know, what is that? Is that some kind of USB connector? Looks like a one, two, three. It's five pin USB, I think. But guys, correct me if I'm wrong on this one. Tell me what that is, if you know better than I do. Uh, there's another speaker. And, uh, okay, give me a sec, guys. Oh, no, one more thing. Here is our power connector. So here's where this goes. Let's see, is this magnetic or what? How does this work? Nope. Goes on, looks like, uh, hmm. Oh, it's keyed. So it goes in, yeah, I think it's this way. And I dropped it. There we go, so it goes in like that. So you can select your language to begin. I'm gonna select English United States because English Canada usually isn't an option. I can set up Wi-Fi later, okay. Pretty responsive so far, actually. Uh, set up accounts later. Let's see if we can just get to the uh, home screen really quick here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so gliding around, this is pretty much what I would expect from a Tegra 2 tablet in terms of responsiveness. Um, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, we can connect to the internet here, Wi-Fi. Actually, no, this one's feeling pretty, pretty darn responsive right about now. So turn on the Wi-Fi. Add a Wi-Fi network. Nope, nope, apparently that's the way to do it manually. Okay, give me a second here, guys. I'll be back. So this is cool. There are actually some features here that I was not aware of that make this very unique and very different from other Android tablets, which, let's face it, are fairly similar beyond the form factor or maybe the keyboard that they use, the desktop wallpaper they come preloaded with, what ports they have. These are all the differentiating factors. Well, Sony has found a way to take that standard Android Honeycomb software and turn it into something very, very unique. So, uh, we've got here, let's have a look at the apps that they have preloaded here. Video Unlimited, Reader, Select App, Social Feed, Remote Control, and Video Player. So this ties into a few things that we found on the Sony website, which, uh, hold on, Gameloft, oh, they don't have the, okay, well, here. Let's go on to the Sony website and have a look at what they have to say for themselves here. So it's for PlayStation games, it's e-reader for e-books, okay? Music, new release movies through the Sony Entertainment Network. It does work as a universal remote, which is very cool. That is a feature that this particular tablet has over the other tablets that I am aware of, especially if it works well. And you can share, view, and transfer personal videos and photos, music to your DLNA compatible PC, TV, or speakers, which is also really neat because a tablet especially when it's only got like 16 gigs of storage on it, is only as useful as the amount of data that you can use on it at any given time. So speaking of which, Unlimited Entertainment gives you access to Sony Music as well as videos. Very, very cool. Swift and smooth experience, like I said, we've come to expect that from Tegra 2. And it is PlayStation certified, so yeah, you can actually play PlayStation games on this tablet using the on-screen controller and then the obviously the screen ergonomic design to fit your hands so what they're saying about this particular design is that it's supposed to feel kind of like uh like a rolled up magazine like a when you peeled the cover over or an, or an open book and it is comfortable you know what it is comfortable i'd say it's not quite natural to me yet given that i've had it in my hands for like a couple minutes but uh, it's definitely something that I could get used to compared to the symmetrical tablets that I am accustomed to at this time. Yeah. So other than that, I don't see too much more here. Uh, nothing about the panel technology that it's using, although I can check here to see what they have to say about that. Nope, they just say resolution and screen size, although they do say that the screen is using true black technology, whatever that means. Uh, I don't know what kind of panel it is, but it looks pretty good. Uh, can't quite evaluate the brightness yet. Let me just crank the brightness up and see what I think of it after that. So, yeah, it looks quite vibrant. Uh, the blacks are very, very deep, but I haven't really seen the whites yet. 
Okay, throw your content, universal remote control, customize with Android Market, and I think that's pretty much it. I think the coolest thing about it, by a long shot, is definitely the ability to play P uh, PS1 games on the go, on your tablet, which turns it into a very awesome gaming platform, because you have not only all the Android games, but also PlayStation games, as well as a great little media tablet. So that's, uh, that's starting to look pretty neat to me, actually. So thank you for checking out this unboxing of the Sony S tablet, and don't, or tablet S, rather, sorry. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Okay, so it actually comes preloaded with Crash Bandicoot, which I have never played, but I'm trying to figure out right now how to, uh, how to start. So we can see what the gaming experience is like. Pretty neat though, pretty neat. Okay, I paused it. Here we go. So I can mm -hmm. run and jump. Okay, so this behaves like a kind of like an analog stick where it's not uh, just straight and I fell down a hole. Okay, so I start over, cool. I jump over the crab. Oh, oh, I think I jumped on the crab. Yep. Forgive me for not being very good at this, guys. Sorry. It's like the first level I already died once. Whoa! Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, oh, I jumped on the crab. Can I double jump? No, apparently not. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's the uh, PlayStation 1 gaming experience that we can expect to have on the Sony tablet. Very cool.